guys, Amy Moleo with Keller Williams Realty in Springfield, Missouri, helping our neighbors here in Springfield and the surrounding communities. So today let's talk about why does a buyer need a buyer's agent? Right now what we're finding is a lot of buyers are shopping online and they are calling the sign in the front of the yard or they're calling whoever they can find on the internet to let them in and show them the home. Well, are you looking for a door opener? Or are you looking for an industry professional who's going to take care of your needs and make sure that your interests are protected throughout the transaction? That is the number one reason why you need a buyer's agent to advocate on your behalf. First of all, really good properties for the right price fly off the shelf here in Springfield. And if it is priced right and it's in great condition, you can probably expect multiple offers on that property or it's certainly not gonna last very long. If you don't have a specific buyer's agent looking for you and looking out for what you want, uh, you may miss out on the property. If you're waiting for it to show up on realtor.com or Zillow or any of these other secondary sites that you're looking for a property on, by the time you drive by the house or call the number on the sign, it may be gone or it might already have multiple offers on it. So number one, your buyer's agent is gonna look out for the deals for you. Secondly, you want a buyer's agent that's really gonna be good at negotiating skills on your behalf. Because let's face it, if you call the agent on the sign, that person works for the seller. Their job is to protect the seller's best interest in a transaction. Of course, get the seller the highest price that they possibly can and avoid paying extra costs if they can afford it. Did you know that when a seller lists with a listing agent, they already agree to pay a buyer's agent's commission. If you don't have a separate buyer's agent representing you, all of that commission goes to the seller's agent. And guess what? Who's got your back? Nobody's protecting your interest in the transaction. So it doesn't cost you money out of your pocket to have your own individual representation and agent working on your behalf to protect your interests and making sure that you've got a good lender in place, that your pre-approval is valid, that you're uh, gonna get the terms that you want on the contract. Did they let you know that, hey, we could possibly ask the seller to pay your closing costs? Would you like a warranty with that? Um, Here's a list of good trusted home inspectors. All of these things are so important to get a transaction to a successful closing. So if you're out shopping, kind of keeping an eye on the market yourself, if you have someone in your family that is playing the game of looking for a place and they wanna do it on their own and then they think, well, I'm gonna pick my agent when I finally find the house I wanna buy, they're doing themselves a huge disservice. Get them connected with a good, solid, strong agent, somebody that you know, like, and trust let them sit down and visit. A good buyer's agent will spend the time in advance talking to the client about what's important to them and helping them meet their needs. And that should cost, come at no cost to you. Alrighty, thanks so much. If there's any way I can be of service, don't hesitate to give me a call.